Hello and welcome to the WB Mason Coach Report with head volleyball coach Emily Mansour. Welcome, Coach. Thank you, Stephen. Coach, a nice two and one weekend at the GW Invitational wins over LIU Brooklyn and the host Colonials, uh, four set lost to Indiana. Your overall thoughts on the weekend? And I think it was definitely an improvement from the first weekend. And as I said, this is the goal to see is getting better every weekend and every chance we get to compete. Uh, so it was nice to come home with two wins for sure. And it was good to see the numbers getting better as well as a team. You, you kind of said this, you made the schedule, which is a little difficult at times uh, to, to get better heading into conference play. And you went two and one at this trip after an 0 and three start the season. Where specifically do you see improvements this weekend that made you guys play well? I think a big thing was decreasing our error percentage on the attack. Uh, we have a lot that we have to improve, but it was a big difference compared to the first week. And this is something that we've been talking about a lot as a team, uh, to just decrease our unforced errors and let other teams have to score points on us instead of just giving to them. And I think as a team, we did a better job this weekend on that. Uh, two players that had great weekends, uh, Louisa Sidlick, your setter, and Ivania Ortiz, your uh, freshman outside hitter. Talk about their uh, all tournament honors and what, what made them so uh, successful. It's always exciting to get uh, student athletes chosen for all tournaments, doesn't matter where we go. Uh, but I think Louisa has been running just a very good control game, as I said, and controlling the tempo and putting her hitters in a very good situation to score points. And that's what gave her the all tournament at GW. And um, Ivania just found herself and were able to get some take kills for us play good defense and minimize the error percentage she had from the first week. The combination of Vanya and Laura Mashulo, how dangerous can that combination be once they get going on all cylinders? I think that's pretty cool. I think this is, we have had, I said that before, uh, a lot of very good outside hitters going through our program, but I think this is the best duo. Two at the same time on the court at the same, uh, at the same match, at the same year, and I think this is gonna be huge for us, and this is really gonna give us a lot of chances to win good matches, having two very strong outside hitters playing together. You've talked long about uh, the point of non-conference is to improve heading into conference. There's certain areas I know you'd like to improve on, your, your team errors, uh, and you've lost the first set of every match so far this season. How do you go about trying to change those things heading into a busy week this week? It's just having urgency to get things done. I think this is something that's very important for us, is having the maturity and the understanding that that first set, if we don't get out there going all for, may cost us a win down the road in conference where every team is the same and every team is gonna be coming to get that win. So it's something that we just really have to continue to grow our minds and our players need to become a little bit more mature understanding that everything counts. Well, Coach, speaking of everything counts, tomorrow, Tuesday, the Long Island rivalry, uh, Hofstra travels to Stony Brook tomorrow. Your thoughts heading into that match, which has become a nice rivalry over the years now? Stony Brook's going to be a very good team this year. They do have a lot of good returning players for them, so I'm expecting a really good match. Uh, of course, we're going to go there to get the win and come home with another W, but I think it's going to be a tough match that we have to play a better volleyball than we played this past weekend. And then this weekend, another tough non-conference trip. You head to Alabama, a uh, spot that Hofstra's never been to with their volleyball program, and you play Alabama, Furman, and Tennessee State. Your thoughts heading into that tournament? So now the pretty tough uh, tournament. Furman has been playing really well. I did check on them, Alabama, Tennessee. It's gonna just be a good week of competition leading into our first home tournament the following week. But we need this. We need teams that are going to challenge us. We need to challenge ourselves. We need to play against teams that are better than us in order to push ourselves to strive and to grow very quick because we have such a short time to become a very good volleyball team. The next two weeks you have a Tuesday match and then a weekend tournament. Uh, how do you prepare your team for a weekend like that, weeks like that where you know they're going to be busy and there could be a time where they get tired? How do you get your team in ready for those types of weeks? It's really important for us to have that because that simulates what is going to happen at the CAA championship because you go from playing a weekend to playing midweek and that's all your season right there at that point. So we need to learn to be mentally tough. 
desire is something that we can control with our mind uh, to this point right now. And this is the reason why we have these two weekends to really prepare. When your body tells you we're tired, you've got to be able to control and say otherwise. Well, Coach, good luck this week, and we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us today in the WP Mason Coach Report with head volleyball coach Emily Mansour.